G'day guys, we've got a trigonometric identity question here today. Um, in the question we've been asked to prove that this identity here in fact is actually just equal to the tan of an angle. So what I like to do with these kind of problems is I like to just figure out how, like make a game plan so to speak of how I'm going to go about solving this and where I think the tricky parts to this problem are going to lie. So first of all, I'll probably identify this sine of 2 theta is going to be a problem for me and this cosine of 2 theta, these double angle formulas here. So what I like to do is I like to first of all have a look at the hard parts and then I'm going to try and turn them basically into simpler parts for me to, me to understand. Now one of my other core, I don't know, principles is I don't really like remembering too many like massive trigonometric identities. I like knowing a couple and then trying to build all the rest from there. So for this sine of 2 theta, Rather than knowing just all the double angle formulas and triple angle formulas, I'm going to build this from just my compound angle identity. So that's the identity that I'm talking about is that the sine of A plus B is equal to the sine of A times the cosine of B plus the cosine of A times the sine of B. Now the way this is going to work for this problem is I've got 2 theta is the same as running sine of theta plus theta which is equal to sine theta cos theta plus cos theta sine theta. Now this, once we've, you know, sine times cos is the same as sine, cos times sine, so we can make this equal to 2 sine theta cos theta, and that's our double angle formula for sine. So, for cosine, it's basically the same thing. We'll just change colour for a second. The, we use the compound angle again. The cosine of, sorry about my handwriting, plus B is equal to cos A, cos B, subtract sine A sine b. Now, along with the Pythagorean identity, in for high school trigonometric identities, these are kind of the only ones you really need to know, I reckon, and the one for tan, obviously. So, therefore, we can rewrite cos of 2 theta as cos of theta plus theta, which is equal to cos theta, cos theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, which is equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, some people would like to leave it as this. It's like a um, Pythagorean identity with a minus rather than a plus, but... The problem with this is this isn't going to help us here because the main aim of the game is to try and keep all the signs, keep sine on the top and cosine down the bottom because that's how we're going to finish up by getting this tan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this so it's all in terms of cosine. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to insert for sine squared theta. I know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So therefore, sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. So I'm going to put that equation 
end here. So you can see that even before we start the problem, it takes a little bit of nutting out. And so once I've done that, I've subbed this into here. I've got cos squared theta minus, put a bit of a bracket, 1 minus cos squared theta, which is equal to cos squared theta minus minus cos squared theta is plus. So we're going to have 2 cos squared theta. And we've got minus 1. And so here we have the other trigonometric identity, like the double angle formula for cos. So let's use these two formulas we've just worked out to prove this identity. So let me just draw a little bit of a line so I've got some space. Cool. So we're going to substitute out sine of 2 theta to 2 sine theta cos theta. We're going to then take away sine theta. We're then going to put that all divided by 1 minus, we've got cos theta plus, now instead of cos of 2 theta, we're going to be writing 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Now, what does this equal to? Well, what we can do is we've got 1 minus 1, so that'll cancel out. And we are left with 2 sine theta cos theta minus sine theta divided by We've got 2 cos squared theta minus cos of theta. Now, once you get it to look like this, you can see that in the top we've got common factors and in the bottom we also have common factors. So what we're going to do next is we're going to factorise both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to factorise the numerator by sine. So I'm going to have sine of theta outside of 2 cos of theta minus 1 and then I'm going to factorize the bottom by obviously cosine of theta and this is going to be 2 cos of theta take 1 now hopefully you can now see that we can cancel out these two. That will form 1. And that means that we're just left with sine theta divided by cosine theta. And sine over cos is equal to tan theta which is equal to the right-hand side of this equation. So that is us proving that this identity here is just equal to tan of theta. So let me just talk you through it. What I did first is I identified these double angles as going to be potential problems that needed to be um, had a look at. Cosine of 2 theta and sine of 2 theta is definitely not just sine of theta plus sine of theta or cosine of theta plus cosine of theta. It doesn't work like that. So what we do is I like to use my compound angle identities to then deduce what my double angle formulas are going to be for both sine and cosine. So for sine, I worked out that one. For cosine, I worked out this one down here. I then substituted them into the original formula. Once I substituted it, I then did a little bit of simplification, cancelled out some ones, and got a formula like this. Now what we then do 
is we have to do our best to try and simplify both the top and the bottom to make it easier for us to try and see how we're going to get tan out of these relationships. Because here, it seems still quite opaque how we're going to get tan. It doesn't really look like it's going to be just sine over cos. So what we then have to do is then I to simplify it when you've got a negatives or, pos or additions or subtractions in it, the only thing you can do is factorize. So what we did is we factorized the top and the bottom. We took out common factors. We found then to our surprise, well, hopefully to your surprise, that, well, we have a common factor of 2 cos theta minus 1 on the top and the bottom, which will cancel. And once we've done that, we found sine theta over cos theta. Sine theta over cos theta, hopefully everyone understands that that equals tan of theta, which is then equal to the right-hand side of our equation. So it's quite an involved problem, but if you understand the basic steps, and the logic and the basic steps are the same any way you do these problems, you, should, you can just plot along and eventually you'll come out to the other side. So I hope this video helped. Um, please like it if it did and subscribe to my channel. I put out videos almost all every day. And I'll um, yeah see you again next time.